Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBB Nuts video series on Lingless interview question series and this video is about how to move the last element which is this guy to the front in the given link list. So it is really very easy job. You just have to traverse along the way till the end and then you have to find out okay this is your last one because it has the next as a null here and what you will do you will unlink this and make sure this guy is actually pointing to this one and this is renamed as head that's it this is not renamed i mean this is gone and this is your new head so new head is this one then its next is this and this and this and this and here you will initialize null that's it that's the job you have to do so let's quickly undo this so i know it is very easy but for the sake of completeness as this is a linkless interview question series i have to push this video also but wait a minute don't go anywhere you you, you have to watch this okay and yeah if you don't know um you, you start some video and then you uh maybe see for maybe 20 or 30 percent and you just don't see that further then youtube thinks that that video is not good okay it was just a small insight about a youtube algorithm so let's get back to our problem so this is your head pointer what we need is pointer one and maybe pointer two for the second last so this is going to be your second last which is like null here and second last so our job is using this pointer p1 we will see have we reached to the last one so we'll see this p1's next is null no it is not we'll move it further this is going to be your p1 and second last will move right hand side once so now this is your second last the same check goes here is this nodes next is null no it is not then we'll move this p1 here and then your second last will come here similarly you will hit this place and second last will be here and you'll see yes it is true because this is a null now you are standing at the required position what you have to do when you're standing at this you have to break the loop i mean your uh, loop will break automatically and then initialize null to this second last next position so this link is gone now you have to make i mean point this guy to the head right so you have to make this as head also and before making this head actually you have to do one more thing i mean this is not the step you have to make this link next of this should be your this guy so once this will start pointing to this you can rename this head to say this is your head and you're done now this is your head and heads next is this guy so this is your second position third position fourth and fifth so see you moved five in the beginning that's it let's do that so as usual this is your code snippet we will take double pointer of this head because we have to change this head pointer itself what i mean is let's suppose you have created node pointer head is equal to new node then in this case what happens actually you're saying this this head is a pointer okay so there are two things if you call this edge then whatever the memory you are getting from this new let's say this is returning like the initial address of 0 cross 11 then that 0 cross 11 is going here but the address of edge is somewhere here maybe 0 cross uh, I don't know 22 okay so this is the uh, address of edge and this is the star of edge okay so or basically edge and when you will put this star here then it will dereference to that particular memory address so now we need actually this guy in order to do any modification in this block because we want to say that this 5 is a new head okay so this 5 is let's suppose 0 cross maybe 1 5 then this 0 cross 1 5 should come here like this 0 cross 1 5 and if we will only send uh, I mean not send uh, the double pointer meaning the address of this head if we would have only sent this uh, 0 cross 11 here meaning just the address what we received from here 
then we would have never been able to change this place so that you can reinitialize this head itself because we are supposed to change the pointers itself okay like this whole box is now going to become a new head so i hope you would have understood like why we need double pointer here meaning why we are calling this move front like this if it is your move front function we are calling it with this address of head so then only we are receiving it with double pointer here and we need this particular address so that we can initialize here this 0 cross 15 okay then only this head will start pointing to the new memory location otherwise it won't so this was about this head double pointer thingy and then let's go ahead and yeah if it is double pointer then to dereference that to that particular memory you have to use this single pointer every places wherever you have this head reference so it's like you have to bear this pain yeah so this particular if check is very simple check we will check if this head i mean whatever we send is equal to null or if it is the only link list i mean it's the only node in the link list meaning only one node in the link list then there is no point right so if that is the case then we'll just simply return from there and if these two cases are not there then we'll go further and i was telling you right we will use a second last element and a pointer p1 so second last was somewhere here and i said it is pointing to null correct so see we have initialized to null and head reference is going to be a pointer p1 so we are making this as a p1 and this loop is what i was talking about we'll iterate over this whole link list using this loop and keep changing this second last to p1 and then we'll make this p1 to point to next one and then we'll see if p1's next is not equal to null then only you go ahead otherwise stop it so you will reach here when you will have p1 here and second last here so see i told you right second last next is going to be null so we'll initialize null here and then pointers p1's next is going to be your head reference so this will start pointing how to find my way here okay <laughs> and then one more thing we have to initialize head ref to pointer p1 this is the reason why we had this double pointer thing here so we'll start pointing this as head also okay so we are done now this is your head this link is gone and then this is the first element your first element and the next element is this and this and this so this is how we'll do it and you can do this recursively that will be little overkill but yeah if you are a recursion freak you can do that i like recursion so much there was a time when i used to think about the recursion whenever there was any loop okay so i was like okay can we do this with recursion and that's how i started and i became little bit more good in recursion because the more you practice the better you would be so i guess you have understood oh this is like oh my god angry bird right yeah okay thanks for watching guys bye bye take care